The man at the centre of a police race row speaks out, and we're being warned to be careful what we throw away after a mortar bomb was found in Somerset. Wilches 107.5 3TRFM. But first, the Foreign Secretary has been in New York delivering a speech on climate change. Margaret Beckett's warned the next decade will be critical in that battle. And she says the failure to work together will see the world end up in free fall. She says the government's taking the issue of global warming to new levels. It's what the Prime Minister charged me to do when he made me Foreign Secretary. He believes this is such a huge issue and such a huge challenge to the whole human race that he thinks it is a major foreign policy priority as well, obviously, as being a concern for a whole range of others. The man at the centre of a race row among police in Gloucester has been talking about his experience. The force has admitted illegally rejecting 108 potential recruits because they were white. Officials had been trying to change the ethnic balance among the their ranks. An industrial tribunal's ruled one unsexful applicant must be paid £2,500 in compensation. People in Somerset are being told to be careful what they throw away after a mortar bomb was found at a recycling centre. As well as dangerous items, a number of valuables were found, including wedding rings and designer clothes. Paul Chipling from Somerset County Council says we need to check before we chuck. Certainly wedding rings and engagement rings, you'd hope they'll be um, people just being a bit careless. Um, so we, you know, the message really is to be careful what you throw away. Um, separate the materials you want to throw away for recycling. And of course check first to see if they're in, uh, if they're in good working order. Uh, consider giving them to a charity first. The head of the army is praising the performance of the RAF in Afghanistan. General Sir Richard Dunnett has said remarks about the Air Force being utterly useless. We're irresponsible. Major Paul Blair is serving with the 3rd Battalion Parachute Regiment in Helmand Province and says all the armed forces are operating under pressure. Before you head off to university, make sure you're vaccinated against meningitis. The trust based in Wiltshire is reminding students they're in the second highest at risk group for the disease. A checklist of the symptoms is available from the trust website. Intimate kissing, shared accommodation and germs are blamed for the increased risk. Sarah Jane Small Page from Wiltshire's Meningitis Trust. What we're asking students to do is make sure they are vaccinated against meningitis. Meningitis can affect anyone at any time and can kill within hours and survivors can be left with severe disabling after effects such as brain damage, deafness and where septicemia has occurred, loss of limb. And a woman from Somerset who's won an award for tackling antisocial behaviour is urging the rest of the county to get involved. Ros Wilkins from the Mendip District Council led Glastonbury Community Watch and saw crime in the area drop. She says she won the award because she took a stand. I think the respect awards acknowledge people who actually say, no, we're not, we're not putting up with this. We need to make a stand and that's why they're called taking a stand. And we need to do something to make our area a better place to live. 3TRFM News, I'm William Broom.